Ever since sheltering in place, I have only been outside for three times. I have this UV sanitizing lamp that emits blue light in my nook. It is so powerful that every time I go through the nook, I need to turn it off. While being home, I am also a warehouse for a volunteer initiative that distributes PPE in the city. So I use this lamp to sanitize the supplies every day. The PPE distribution work is now my anchor in the city, as everything else falls apart. Every day, people comes in my front yard, pick up and drop off supplies, and I just sit here next to the windows. This is also my home studio spot now. At the beginning, I try to bring back some of the tools from my studio for set up working at home. However, it was very difficult. In my work, the narratives I create often inhabit alien places, where time, space, technology, stories are blended. I use physical artifacts, sculptures to ground those fantasies. So the fact that I was away and detached from physical materials made my practice lose its ground. Everything seems to be falling, and it's terrifying. However, after several weeks in this condition of free fall, I've been slowly feeling a transcendence of the body. This reminds me of the sensation I had in the parabolic flights. That when everything falls, we simply become weightless. It could be liberating. I think artists are people who are sensitive to these changes. Now, I started to question the necessity of those grounds. The way art can be made, can be exhibited, and the versions of realities I'm able to connect to. The other day, I went on the rooftop with my partner to chase satellites. We made an antenna out of a broomstick. As a NOAA 18 weather satellite passing southbound over the Great Lakes, we tried to hear its whispers. The signal is so weak that I have to sweep the antenna around as if drawing on the sky. The images we got captures the state from the far above, where all the chaos cannot be heard. For my job to dispatch PPEs in all five boroughs, I have been looking at maps a lot. Though confined at home, I got to see many streets and buildings that I've never seen before. I saw this amazing paved dirt trail from 200th Street to the Yonkers, some nice sunset in Rockaway Beach, and cherry blossoms on Staten Island. I still miss the busy New York City, but I think I got to know it differently now. I got other permissions and abilities to imagine and connect, not just to process the reality. But create new layers on top of.